So just a quick demo of the pedal I completed. Uh, just want to show you how it works. Um, so basically you can see when I push these buttons, it changes the uh, amplifier front panel. Go to OD1, OD2, and uh, let's see, slide over here. And then we got the master select. Uh, this is a little different because I had to make the LED change between red and green. And then finally the effects loop. All right, hope this helps. So the foot switch is a pretty simple design. We've got six uh, momentary push buttons with um, six LEDs. Um, these are actually set up so that the colors are predefined. Clean is always green. Crunch is always red. OD1 is always green. OD2 is always red. Master uh, select can be green or red depending on whether it's uh, master one or two. And then finally the effects loop. Uh, that one is um, green when it's active and, of course, off when it's not. So just a quick look. Let's turn this thing around. Got our power input and our MIDI interface. And then I want to open this thing up for you so you can kind of see what's inside. Not a whole lot. Again, just the uh, push buttons. Um, there's the MIDI connector, which is a 5-pin DIN. I have a power connector hidden back there. I put a full wave uh, bridge rectifier on it so that the polarity doesn't matter on the input uh, power. You can hook it up backwards and it still works fine. Now at the heart of this unit is an Arduino Uno board. Um, it's actually ideal for this project because it accepts enough digital I.O. for the switches and for um, controlling the LEDs. And um, it also has um, a UART, which is a serial input-output device that you could set the, the baud rate. Um, so this is um, using the Arduino MIDI libraries to implement this design. Um, pretty straightforward. So if you're handy at you know, drilling, um, you probably have no problem putting this thing together. Okay, so I just made a code update to this foot switch that now saves the uh, previous settings that you've that you put into it um, the challenge here is that this this design only sends midi to the amplifier and there's no way to get uh, the state of the amplifier back into this box so you pretty much have to configure everything and then um, it's going to assume that the amplifier is synchronized to the box so I just kind of want to give you a quick example of that. Uh, right now we're on the clean channel and you can see the amplifier here matches that. It's green. Um, also, master uh, volume is on one with the effects loop off. Uh, and you can see that's the state here. Um, now for the crunch channel. This changes and I have master on one and effects loop on and you can see that synchronized here if you do change it for some reason say you want to switch to master two uh, this will change and then if we go back to clean again uh, right here that goes back to one and now we're at master one and effects off and then i'll go back to crunch again and you can see that it goes uh, back to the previous state. So anyways, hopefully that helps. Um, I think that's more useful for users since that's likely how the six-way six pedal works um, that I can't get a hold of. Um, so hopefully this thing will kind of at least uh, help you out while you're waiting for that product to show up.